These two together, forming the North Star Express, have had tag team championship gold throughout the country. Uh, NIW, MPW tag, 3XW tag, AAW tag. These guys are successful wherever they go. They're a thrill to watch. They get people up on their feet, and they deliver time and time again. And they appear to be doing just that while taking on one another in, in our main event in one-on-one -on -one competition. This crowd loving what they're seeing. It's an absolute wrestling clinic right now with Darren Corbin, the champion. I was going to say with the upper hand, but going down courtesy of that shoulder tackle. I like what I'm seeing tonight, which is they're taking the pace down a little bit from their usual matches against other teams. They're pacing themselves. They realize the importance in that you cannot make a mistake in a championship match. Well, Morty, they have to. There's no other way because they know each other's offense so well that if they don't control the pace a little bit, then they're just going to blow each other up. Well, that is for sure. And uh, speaking of blowing up, Corbin on the ring apron there, gasping for breath after that maneuver. Nikki Mayday right at his side. Cruz looking for some acknowledgement from the crowd, which he is getting. Corbin, the hometown boy, stiff British uppercut. St. Cloud State University, home of the Huskies, just down the road. The crowd, Alumnus. Crowd starting to get behind Corbin a little bit here. Cruz waiting for him, measuring him up. I think Corbin's a little... Uh, Dazed and confused at the moment. You know, I think it might be a mistake for Cruz there to give that extra five to seven seconds of, of rest to, to Corbin, who now has that waist lock applied. And right you are. And then look at that. Top wrist lock. Sends him to the ropes. Whip in. And right over Corbin. Oh, and a couple of pin attempts. They're going round and round. Well, now I don't know who has the upper hand. Both get to a fighting stance, but no. Cruz sweeps the leg, gets a two count. Sweep of the leg on Cruz. Referee Rob Page getting as much a workout tonight. Well, it sounds like you're getting a workout here. I don't know I how am. you can articulate the action as quick as you have. Do you see how I'm tipping my chair back? I'm getting some ice cubes out here? We could uh, yeah. we could have Nikki uh, work on that for you, maybe. Thank you. I'd like a martini. Dry. Two olives. Oh, well, aren't you picky? No. Th Eloquent. All right, all right. Yeah. I think he's asking for a fresca. Fresca? Wasn't that my drink of choice a number of years ago? At one point it was. A little wet spot, in there, uh, possibly some blood, possibly some drool, some vomit. Oh, yeah, Corbin's calling to slow it down. <laughs> Corbin. <laughs> I haven't usually heard a wrestler well, well, verbalize we, it. Yeah, when we talked about controlling the pace, it's normally either uh, a strategic or a, uh, <laughs> a a tactical way of doing it, and, and rather not a request of the other competitor. Corbin just... Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, Morty. Oh. <laughs> I think we have three different types of slowing the action down, and we have seen them all within a period of three to four minutes. Hey, look at even Nikki Mayday is reacting in slow motion. A oh. referee, Ra a Ra referee oh, Rob Page. There it is. I think even Wayne McCarty is slowing down his, his photography. <laughs> that is great. I'd say the same about Hockey Mask Guy with the video camera, but never mind. No, he was... <laughs> <laughs> it goes over. The velocity and is big oh. arm drag. You're right. This is the slowest I've ever seen Noodle Arms page and an arm drag. <laughs> Ricky Steamboat, eat your arm. It's too bad the crowd isn't enjoying this at all. They're just sitting on their hands, aren't they? Totally. Even the crowd, some of the guys in the crowd. Slowly. Look at the crowd over here. They're going in slow motion, too. Oh, my God, he kicked out. Can you believe it? Oh, and they both roll through, and fighting stance. Nice. Nicely done. You know, once upon a time, they'd chant boring at that, but for some reason, the crowd's just need to get up this time. Well, sometimes that's, a, that's pretty hardcore. Look at this. Standing O. That was beautiful. You know what? They're having fun. Two friends having the time of their lives. 
And that's what this is about. Pro wrestling, such a, a, a passion. It drives everything these two men do in their lives. And to have it culminate here in Echo Pro tonight, one on one in front of 600 plus fans. How can you not blame them for, for the for championship for crying out loud? Absolutely. That's pretty cool. Yes, it is. Oh, look at Carbon! Drives yeah, him with the arm. Face first there a little bit. Okay, don't trust him too much. There you go. The hammer lock, and he goes and stomps it right on the elbow. You and I have uh, both been on the receiving end of those on the amateur mats. Absolutely right with that, uh, that chicken wing being applied there. Boy, you really learn how much your tendons can stretch, can't you, when, uh, when you're in... A move like that? Certainly right. You know, learn uh, learn the value of uh, stretching, ahead, stretching of time. <laughs> ahead of time and, and therapy afterwards. And not being stretched. Yeah, Corbin delivering some very uh, stiff elbows to the tricep of his tag team partner. Climbs up the ropes. I don't know what, uh, what Corbin has in store here. Looks like old school Undertaker. Night, but of, Night of the Skywalkers. I'm, I'm thinking the spoiler. The guy now who you're, now you're really dating yourself. Well, I've been dating myself for a good five years now. I'm the only one who will go out with me. Nobody knows. One more? Yeah, let's just take a walk around the block. Well, it's a lovely spring day. Why not? Oh, smashes the arm. They can still be friends after this, can't they? I would certainly hope so, but uh, Cruz not feeling too hot at the moment. These two as a team have feuded with the Junk Squad on and off for a number of years. They've also had a running rivalry with their good friends, the new generation. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Midwest Ground and Air, definitely, Nate Bash definitely. and Ben Saylor, and they have put on some of the most exquisite wrestling classics that I have ever seen in tag team history. And this is all, uh, oh, oh my goodness, what is Nikki Mayday getting involved in the I action now? Am, I guess I want to take back what I said earlier. I did not think it would go to this level. How can Nikki Mayday stick her nose in this? I'm, I'm surprised. I, I had used the word sweetheart to describe Nikki Mayday earlier. I think I uh, that was an incorrect um, analysis. Of her, she's still, but still a sweetheart to me. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's tough for me to get my eyes uh, into the other direction with her right oh, there. Oh my God, she's doing it to her own guy. She's oblivious to the fact that it's Corbin. Now she knows, or does she? Um, I think Corbin's telling her wrong guy. 